There's going to be a three point. The, the first point is uh, uh, internationalization of the internet. I mean, the, when the internet started, then you know, I was sitting outside the United States. So uh, uh, in order to make the internet to be a kind of a global entity, then you know, um, I've been involved as a kind of a, one of the key person outside the US to, uh, for the development of the internet. So uh, that's uh, internationalization and uh, globalization type of a thing because uh, each of the country got a different philosophy of the internet. I mean, network, computer network, and then uh, they got together and uh, then they make it to a single internet. So. That's uh, one of the work, and uh, probably uh, one of the very well-known work is uh, RFC 822. Uh, the email content was uh, uh, originally defined as uh, English ASCII, and now it's a uh, uh, multi-language thing. So uh, that's uh, one of the work I, I did. So uh, internationalization and uh, globalization is uh, one of the area. The second area is uh, uh, I've been you know, serving as a technical, I, I came from a Unix operating system background and then I have a, a very big number of friends in the Unix area and then and also on the, working on the computer networks. So I came from a technical background, but uh, then you know, I also working on a, a domain name operating systems, I mean operation system, including the root server I, I've been chairing for the root server operators. And then the you know, DNS, Domain name, domain name uh, is uh, on the early 80s. They are facing with the intellectual property area. And uh, so we had the internet, entire internet community had to be communicating and uh, discuss thing with the uh, uh, intellectual property community. So that's the start of the so-called internet governance thing. Who's going to make a decision in the world? It's a kind of a seed of the ICANN process. So, uh, the, the, you know, so I've been serving for the initial ICANN board in the, based on that work. So I'm a basically uh, kind of the first group of people uh, for the technical and the policy level uh, connection. So that's the second role of mine. And the third role is, of course, uh, you know, since uh, Japan was uh, involved in the early stages of the internet, so uh, I was uh, kind of working with uh, China, Korea, and the other part of the Asia. So the Asia internet uh, development, that's uh, one of the things I did for the, my career. You know, we talked about the global internet, then, you know, uh, we have uh, decided uh, to uh, you know, create the organization called the Internet Society, right? I mean, so that's uh, one of the discussion between the, well, among the person like uh, Vince Cerf and the Larry and Weber, Dave Faber and uh, myself, and uh, we, we discussed about the, you know, the strong demand about uh, having a kind of a single organization to handle the uh, startup of the internet uh, from, from all over the world. Uh, I, I was a kind of a very strong uh, claimer about the, you know, the requ requester about the, such organizations. And uh, because uh, you know, when we were starting you know, working in Japan, and uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, misunderstanding about the computer networking connected outside the country. And then you know, so uh, it was pretty hard. So I don't want to see in future after Japan, then uh, many other countries going to uh, face with the same problems. Therefore, the experience has to be, uh, you know, kind of uh, stored in the same place to be used for the next uh, possible uh, opportunities. So, uh, in order to do that, then, then let's create uh, some kind of organization. And uh, then, you know, the, I, I believe Bint and Larry said that in the 1990, then here is a here is a you know, organization you are talking about. Uh, how do you like it? That was the uh, original idea of uh, Internet Society. And that was 91, actually. And uh, then uh, we had the uh, INET, the first INET in uh, Denmark in uh, 91. And uh, then uh, the first ISOC-based INET uh, in uh, 92, which was hosted by myself in, in Kobe. So that was the very first original 
uh, Isokaine in, in Japan, hosted by myself. That was a kind of a very much an honor and the proud of uh, our group in the entire internet community in Japan. And uh, uh, one more thing is that that time, then uh, uh, there was a um, there was a discussion about the next generation internet protocols in, in the ITF, which was uh, that time it was called IP version seven, and uh, then you know it was uh, connecting with uh, ISO's IP. Uh, so uh, then you know, uh, they did uh, a lot of uh, hot discussions on the ninety two, uh, throughout the ninety two, including the INET time. And uh, therefore, they decided to reconstruct the ITF and the IAB structure. IAB used to be called uh, Internet Activities Board. But uh, then uh, after the reconstruction in 92, then the IAB uh, renamed themselves for Internet Architecture Board. So uh, this is a kind of a representation of the big, big change on the structure. So I became a new IAB member. Internet Architecture Board member to start up with a re start rethinking, redesigning the next generation of the Internet Protocol, which was, uh, you know, in the later becoming the IP version six. So uh, throughout that process, then I've been very much involved with the IP version six development and the design, utilizing the, my team in Japan. So. Uh, uh, therefore, the Japan and the Asia had a very strong um, uh, contribution to the IP version 6 uh, deployment and the design and the development. So uh, that's another uh, way, uh, another part of the very, very uh, important contribution from the, uh, myself and uh, uh, my group to the entire internet community. Well, sunny, partly stormy. <laughs> uh, okay, the you know the internet is now accepted as a basis of the society all over the world. So uh, that's a very, very sunny side of the story, and the, uh, you know kind of a stormy uh, uh, because of uh, you know the situation about uh, now telephone structure in the global basis is it turned out to be a, a internet-based communications. You know, scheme, and uh, then you know, it's a lot, lot of uh, kind of a conflicts. A lot of uh, you know, change has to be done. In, uh, in, a, in a many part of the world, it's uh, uh, hardly accepted in a, in, a, in a way. So internet is okay, but uh, you know the, the telephone system goodness sh should be kept. You know, that, that many many people think that way. So the one group of people is thinking that uh, uh, the telephone voice communication to be uh, on top of the internet so that uh, it's going to be a kind of application and services on top of the internet. The other uh, group is uh, considering that the in telephone system is a way to, uh, you know, um, it's a kind of a diplomatic uh, tool connecting the world in the international uh, space. So uh, then, you know, the question is, how can we keep this, uh, you know, diplomatic uh, system for for of the telephone system uh, can be, you know, kind of survived, or then what's going to be a future of this one? So uh, this type of uh, different discussion is going on in, uh, uh, especially in ITU and the United Nations space. So I sincerely hope that uh, this uh, very big uh, different discussions going to be a kind of a meeting together and uh, mutually understood uh, to be a better conclusion or the direction uh, as a whole. But uh, then uh, st still, you know, there is a lot of uh, distance about, uh, between those two discussions. So that's something I'm worrying very much today. The, the uh, concerns and uh, is a, uh, those are policy level thing. You know, the j internet is a truly global space. That's, that's a kind of almost a miracle of uh, you know, what the human being created. So it's a global space. And uh, then you know, we do have an international space by you know, kind of a collection of the nations and the governments involved. 
So uh, those two things, it's uh, you know, kind of coexisting because uh, any, any of the government activities and any of the people's life is now based on the internet. Therefore, the both has to be a kind of uh, uh, connected and converged nicely. So uh, that's, uh, uh, that should be achieved and uh, I'm, I'm optimistic about uh, you know, we can achieve that. But uh, then uh, you know, in order to reach them, then uh, you know, uh, we have to very carefully uh, you know, uh, speaking and the discussing about the you know kind of future model of the, those two as aspects of the digital communication area. Well, hope is going to be uh, you know the well, it's a it's a it's a very good uh, question actually because uh, you know the hope and the fear is a kind of a coexisting. That's a that's a, you know a really important part. The hope is a, you know kind of a when we are creating the truly distributed. Uh, environment uh, around the globe you know this planet and uh, then you know, we can we can we can get the benefit from the other data and the other you know kind of things connected to the internet so it can be uh, described as an internet of things and uh, then a lot of data and uh, then you know the, anybody can learn from those data because it's an open space and uh, then you know uh, that's going to be uh, a hope that uh, you know the internet uh, uh, infrastructure is going to be uh, providing the platform for the people on this planet uh, to work jointly for the f creation of the future. That's, that's a ho very, very uh, hopeful situation of the internet. Well, actually, the, it's a really essential thing is that, uh, you know, kind of technically global thing is, uh, uh, is uh, you know, probably well understood. Uh, but also the, you know, uh, the importance of the respecting the nation, culture, uh, governments, you know, is still, uh, it's, a, it's a really important. So the margin of those two is uh, sometimes uh, can be described as a cyber physical uh, system, right? Cyber meaning that the global internet space and the physical meaning that the physical space and the geolocational and the, then they, you know, therefore the government and the nation involved. And the sober, cyber and the physical is going to be a kind of a working together nicely. So uh, that's an action about, uh, you know, we understand about the global space of digital communication and uh, then the based, based on that understanding and uh, we're going to develop the, the new diplomatic uh, space among uh, uh, you know, the government, which is an international relationship. You know, I've been involved on the internet car and the internet and TV these days and the, the medical information and the internet. Um, so, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the country is 30% of the entire population uh, in this planet is uh, using uh, internet user now. Um, the, then you know, the advanced countries uh, of the internet, you know, it's a more than 80 percent, 90 percent of the population is uh, internet users, and so the 30 percent of the global population is going to be uh, like 80 percent. So everybody, everybody on this planet is going to be uh, users of the internet uh, pretty soon, and uh, so uh, then you know, it's uh, probably the, what we can do and what's going to be the. Uh, you know, the better way and the rules and, uh, you know, that kind of a thing uh, has to be, uh, you know, very much discussed uh, in a different way. That's what we have to do for the future actions. So the uh, future actions for the internet for everybody and everything. So that's, that's probably the most important future actions.